initiative of Queensland Wine Week is pretty special. It's going to help uh, break down some of those barriers that are ill-conceived by uh, wine consumers, wine drinkers in this state. Um, it will go to show that there is some pretty special wines, uh, pretty special brands here on the Granite Belt that um, will stand up against any in uh, any uh, other uh, known wine regions in Australia um, and will stand neck and neck with them. Um, these are fantastic wines and just need to be discovered. We've ventured out into the Granite Belt wine region to celebrate what is now the last day of Queensland Wine Week. Uh, we've come with a busload of like-minded winos and uh, Queensland Wine Week has been about celebrating uh, the best that we can of Queensland wine. There's been tasting events, dinners uh, in Brisbane and even interstate, um, just trying to get as much Queensland wine into the mouths of the public as possible and really educate and in a lot of cases introduce people to uh, what is really a maturing and blossoming region doing some fantastic wines. Uh, we're going to be visiting five wineries today and uh, it is in the middle of vintage so hopefully we might even be able to get our hands dirty so it should be a really good day. Um, I think one of the big things about the Granite Belt is um, is the consistency of, of the varieties and the products that, that we can make. Um, I would never describe them, I wouldn't describe them as powerful wines, but um, they're more of a, delic a delicate style, certainly powerful in certain years, but we, we have all the flavours, the tannin structures, everything that we need to make you know, a very serious contender of a wine. And I think it shows uh, nationally, you know, we're, we're doing really well in the, in the wine shows, going up against uh, everybody else, every other state that produces wine. <laughs> 